Wayne Estes was an All-American basketball player for Utah State University from 1963 to 1965, and to this day is still regarded as the best cager in school history. A native of Anaconda, Montana, Wayne came to Utah State in the summer of 1962 as a great all-around athlete who looked more like a football player than a basketball player. However, by the end of his freshman year, Wayne had proved all of the doubters wrong as he set the USU freshman scoring record with 254 points. As a varsity starter at the beginning of his sophomore season, Wayne would go on to play and start in all 75 games during his illustrious Aggie career, as he was held under 10 points just once and wound up with 31 20-point games, 18 30-point games, 7 40-point games, and a USU school record 52 points against Boston College during his senior season. In all, Wayne averaged 20 points as a sophomore and helped Utah State to the NCAA tournament. During his junior year, Wayne upped his scoring average to 28.3 points per game and again led the Aggies to the NCAA tournament, this time to the regional semifinals, one of just 16 teams in the nation to advance that far. And during his senior campaign, Wayne averaged 33.7 points per game, which ranks second in the nation behind Miami's Rick Barry. However, Wayne's senior season would be cut six games short as he was fatally electrocuted on February 8th of 1965, just hours after setting the Nelson Fieldhouse scoring record with 48 points and becoming just the 18th player in NCAA history to score 2,000 career points. A consensus All-American as a senior, Wayne still ranks as the third leading scorer in Utah State history with 2,001 points and is the fourth leading rebounder in school history with 893. He still holds school records for career points per game at 26.7, free throws made in a career with 469, consecutive 10-point games with 64 in a row, points in a season with 821 as a junior, and points per game in a season with his 33.7 average as a senior. Points in a game with 52 against Boston College and rebounds in a game with 28 versus Regis University. Wayne, who would have likely been a high draft pick in the National Basketball Association in 1965, became the first player ever to earn first team All-American honors from the Associated Press before season's end and was also posthumously named an All-American by Look Magazine, Converse, the Helms Foundation, and the Sporting News. In 1967, Wayne was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. There is no doubt Wayne Estes created a legacy for himself during his time at Utah State, but also during his short time on this earth as his relentlessness and work ethic shaped the basketball player and the man he became. USU do everything Cager is at his best when the chips are down. But Wayne's legacy reached much further than the basketball court as he had a dramatic effect on the people who knew him and even those who only knew of him. No one should ever forget Wayne Estes, not because of his tragic death, but for his well-lived life.